I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my. Uh, I'm feeling myself. Hey guys, welcome to the makeup beauty. Oh, come on, what is it? Hey guys, welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. If you guys don't know me, my name is Becky. I am back today with a look featuring the Super Stay range, and I am just so excited to bring it to you, my fellow viewers. And if you guys like this look, stay tuned to see how I achieved it. It's actually quite simple, so here we go. We are about to do some bold lip, some super stay, some snatchery. Now, going straight in, I've already done my foundation, I've done my brows, I've already kind of set my eyeshadow. I'm just going straight in with the super stay under eye concealer and this is how it looks like it comes in a, like a plastic bottle which is nice so you can squeeze out every drop also it has a really nice applicator i always love this dofa applicators so i'm starting off with shade 45 and 10. and the good thing about these concealers guys they last 24 hours. Spring and summer is upon us as winter slowly runs away. This is definitely something that I'm gonna be using over those hot, hot days. I want something to stick, I want something to slay, and I want something to make sure it don't run away. Hey, bars. <laughs> One of my things that I like doing with concealers, I just let it sit for around two minutes, chill, check what's on my phone, see what's going on with the world, even though it's only been like, Five minutes, <laughs> millennial problems. And I don't like going straight for a bright under eye shade. I prefer layering, especially if you want a flawless finish. Even no matter like how great a concealer could be, it's all about how great, I, I, like, it, 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 like it all matters how, round hoop. With a concealer, it's all with the layers, it's all with the blending, and it's all about taking your time. Jumping straight to a really bright shade for a bright under eye. I mean, you could do it, but like those flashbacks. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't want to be looking back the next day and being like, ah, what happened there? My stash doesn't need too much of a well, You know, it's subjective. You guys might think I might need extra coverage, but I don't. Ooh, so now that we got shade 45, I'm going in with shade 40, so it's just a shade lighter. It's a nice golden caramel color. I mean, it is called caramel. This one has more of a red undertone. This one has more of a goldish yellow undertone, which is perfect for adding a brighter under eye. I'm not going to cover it as much as I did before, just touching in the spots where I want it to shine bright like a diamond. I'm gonna go back in with that 45 shade that we went in with and I'm just gonna go and highlight the sides of my mouth because we're doing a bold lip. I find that this really brings that look together. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who wastes their time doing makeup and doing stupid things. You know, you can't always just concentrate on makeup all the time. And like, you know, you gotta goof around. You know what I mean? Practice your Beyonce moves. I'm gonna start around my mouth. And I like how it, it's really easy to blend. Like with some concealers, they either dry really fast, they're too sheer, or you know, like for me, I'm going for coverage, snatchery. It just doesn't require a lot of like constant blending and blending and blending. It just kind of seems to like seep into your skin, which is really nice. Because you kind of want your skin to still look like skin. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Obviously this ain't my skin. And then just going back in with my foundation brush. Quick trick to blend in those the lines of demarcation, especially with your concealer. Because I don't really want to take my concealer to my hairline. Like that's what my bronzer and for my contour is for. If you want more cheekbones, more of like a chiseled look, for sure, like take it all the way to your hairline. But I mean, like if you've been blessed with cheekbones though, you know what I mean? You just gotta show them off a little bit, but don't take them to the hairline. So now we're going to be finishing this eye look. I know I look like an alien. It's not Halloween yet. Now we're going to be doing one of my favorite things to do in a makeup routine. And that's definitely some eyeliner. The, the Tattoo Studio Liquid Ink Liner. And it's this one right here. I've mentioned it in previous videos. It's just from my experience. My experience. Whether it's a really sharp, fine felt tip or brush tip are the best tips 
I'm just gonna be going in and doing a nice thin sharp eyeliner. So that's how the outside looks like. Like the precision on this is so good. Is it just me or I cannot, I actually cannot talk when I'm doing my eyeliner. It's that and my eyebrows, but like, like not. <laughs> no. And I'm gonna go in with the master liner as well, just to line under my waterline. Taking my master chrome highlighter, and I'm gonna highlight my inner corner line, um, inner corner eye. So going in with that same master chrome, and just taking a really fluffy brush. I don't want a concentrated highlight. I just want it to look like, darling, did you just step out of gold? Voila, lashes. Done. I like YouTube magic tricks. I think they're sophisticated. <laughs> to finish off this look, I'm so excited to bring to you the Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. And so these are the three shades that I've kind of had my eye on. That beautiful, bold lip, great for dark skin tones. I'm gonna start off with the shade 50. <laughs> 50 shades of gray. <laughs> But in this case, 50 shades of red in the shade Voyager. So this is this one. Oh my gosh, and they smell so good. And really hydrating as well. I just I can't get over that smell. It's so nice. So now before it fully dries, I'm gonna go in with that other red shade, which is color 117. And it's this one right here. It has more of an orangey base. So I'm just bringing it right in the center of my lip. making sure all that lipstick does not touch your teeth. So guys, I'm gonna go and snatch my wig and I'll be right back. Woo, so voila. Guys, if you like this look, I find that if you don't, this is gonna be your problem because you have to like this look. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I think it's here. And also follow on Instagram, share with your friends, with your family with your aunties, with your uncles, share with everyone. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Till next time, till next time, see ya.